All right, we have, I guess you might call it a new series starting. A new truck is going to be coming to the channel um, today, actually. It wasn't something we were expecting. Um, Cole and I really weren't even quite done with the current trucks that we have. But, um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. We weren't really expecting to do this. We just happened to find a truck that is kind of hard to find. Uh, it's going to be pretty similar to what Cole has, but we're going to go more in depth on this truck than than we have on ours. You know, basically, we're always in a rush. Uh, Cole and I, the trucks that we work on are pretty much the only vehicles that we have to drive on a daily. You know, of course, we have a couple classics laying around, but we don't really have any other vehicles that we can just jump in and, you know, head somewhere and want to take a longer trip in or work in or whatever. So. Normally, you know, it's, it's always a fight. You got to go drop off the only truck you have to, to get something done, to, to get the windows tinted, to do small things, get it aligned, to get, I don't know, if you have a shop, do your lift or whatever. But kind of what we've always wanted to do was go the extra mile and do more than just what we have on ours. You know, we're still going to do that. We're still going to do wheels, tires, um, color matching things like that but really on another level getting it to more of a show truck point and powder coating extra parts taking other things apart um just paying attention to things that we normally didn't so that's really what we're going to do with this new truck that we're getting we'll introduce you to it here in just a little bit it's going to be delivered this afternoon so we'll do a kind of an overview of what that truck is talk about what we're going to do to it um, we haven't fully decided yet what exactly the route we're going to go is on it, and we're going to have time to think about that. And if you guys have some thoughts on what we should do, throw them in uh, our comments. See um, see what the options really are. You know, ultimately, there's always the option to leave it a stock height and do more of a street build. Um, I don't know if we'll do that or not. Maybe if we can get a wide enough street tire to look good on a 24 or 26 inch wheel which maybe you can't but hey we're talking options here so nothing's um, nothing's not going to be considered um should we should we lift it bigger we may do that it'd be nice to still be able to pull it into a garage if you need to to work on it or something like that um yeah I'd say it's just going to be fun getting started on this project we're going to take apart a bunch of other uh, things on the vehicle hopefully have uh, an accent color that we pick that we can have some things under the truck powder coated to maybe get a little more intense on our lighting um, you know there, there's tons of things that we can do so we're just going to show you this truck with a open mind open platform what it looks like now and we can't wait to take you guys along on the build process with this truck and see what we can turn it into and we'll also keep you guys posted on what we end up spending to do this and uh, really how it all turns out so um, we're looking forward to sharing it with you. So I hope you like the new truck. And here I was expecting the next truck to pull in to be the one that we're getting, but it's just Cole coming on. How upsetting. Now he has to be here whenever the new truck shows up, but I guess I guess we let him. I can't make him leave. What you looking at, Carl? It's got painted flares already on it. Open the door. Oh, yes. I did not know that. That is really great. Believe it or not, we're actually buying the SUV. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're kidding. That truck is sick, sick, sick. You realize how much those painted flares are going to save us? <laughs> I know. Now we're back. Here she is. 2022. <laughs> uh, GMT Duramax. It's finally here. Well, I mean, finally, we just found it a few days ago, so it really got here fast. Very fast. And uh, we're pretty excited about it. As you can see, it did come with painted flares, which is a nice plus. That's an $800 option. $895, actually. So that's pretty cool. We didn't know that was going to happen. 
came with some lovely steps as well. Those will be taken off. And the good news is they're worth 500 bucks, so. Exactly. Came with 20 inch wheels. That's a plus. I mean, we'll take I mean if you like that kind of thing, <laughs> right. at least they're worth more to sell. I think is what we mean by yeah, that. Yeah, that's what we mean. So that's pretty good. So yeah, we're pretty excited about it. We're just trying to think of some ideas of what we're going to do to it. What do you think? Hmm. I guess the best thing we could do is just start writing down our thoughts. Let's write it down and see what we can come up with. All right. Ideas for this truck. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> we could leave it stock. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not stock. All right, so not not stock. Not we don't stock. don't want to do that. Well, do you want to go first? Or you want me to? Why don't you go? Okay. I'm thinking. Color matched mirrors. That's probably a good start. But to save a bunch of room, couldn't we just say full color match? Okay. Full color match would be fine. Well, what's that going to include? Um, mirrors. Probably most everything on the front. I don't know. Depending. Depends if we go aftermarket grill or not. Right. Um, Fender flares are done. We'll do those headlights. Headlights. Take those apart. Tail lights are we going to do aftermarket or painted? I mean, obviously, you still have to do aftermarket painted ones. So you can't paint the rim. Right. So we'll have to do the bottom. Even though you get the color match flares whenever you get them through GM, they leave the mud flat cap. You can tell that that baby is black. So we'll pull those off and do that that step back there that stands out like a sore thumb that'll have to be painted so let's just we'll just say color match okay. anything and everything we want all right i like it sorry we had to take a warm-up it's like 30 degrees out and it's going to be like much colder than that tomorrow so yeah, it's we're cool. freezing ourselves out here for you guys so hope you appreciate it so we have a few of the ideas already written down um obviously you've seen other stuff on our channel you know we're going to do lighting on this truck so i'll write down lighting but maybe cole will break down some of the things that that will include so we'll do rock lights of course um hopefully 24 on this truck give or take a few maybe we're going to do ring lights, probably quad row ring lights. Um, our lights and our mirrors, they're the amber color. So those are going to be um, sent off and put white LEDs in them. Our cab lights are orange. We don't want that. So we'll get white LEDs put in those. Tail lights, I don't know if that's included in lighting, but that's for sure going to be something that we're going to do. You mentioned a starlight? No, I didn't. Starlight headliner. That's going to have to happen because they're really cool. That would be cool. Yeah. So quite a bit of lighting to do. Yeah. That's going to be a good start. Yeah. Huh. What's another topic that we'll have? Well, we got suspension. So we, we haven't decided on that. We've talked back and forth about it, whether it's going to be a leveling kit or a lift kit on it. We're just not sure yet. So we'll just do level slash lift for now. Zach and I have kind of always done levels on our trucks. We've always enjoyed the stock, not necessarily stock look. I wouldn't say that at all, but just not super big or usable because it's our daily drivers and whatnot. So, but with this truck, we want to do things a little different. So possibly a small lift for this one. Right. Subject which, to change. Which a small lift on these trucks ends up being a lot. Yeah. You know, um, uh, a three inch lift on these trucks or level is borderline like a six inch lifted half ton. So we'll keep that in mind. Right. But, all right. What else we got? Might as well go ahead and put down wheels and tires. Yeah. That's a must. It's going to have to happen. So size, we're not sure yet. 
style we're not sure yet but yeah they're going to be wide yeah for sure 14 or 16 wides probably 24s it just really depends if we go with a straight look we might go with 22s we'll just see what kind of kind of style we want to go with on this truck okay and regardless of whether we do the leveling kit or the lift kit we are going to take the time to powder coat accent pieces to really make it stand out and look different the leaf springs in the back the upper control arm um, it'll probably end up putting aftermarket shocks on it those will those will dress it up quite a bit um, what else would we powder coat maybe we do track bars on it and powder coat those yeah yeah just any any component of your lift that would stand out look cool under your rock legs yeah pretty much yeah powder coat a hitch a big drop hitch to put in the back depending if we lift it or not or something just to draw attention to it yeah for sure so powder coating did you yeah. write that down no no i got distracted my marker in this cold weather yeah it's cold I'm thinking for the next thing, we've always talked about it, custom grill, pretty cool option, get a, whatever we want, put on the front, get the light up, I think it'd be a very cool option. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> custom grill. Starting to get narrowed down here. This is, yeah, that's is. getting closer. Um, we're not going to mention all the details. We'll probably show some of these or talk about them later. Like, we're obviously probably going to fully debadge this truck. We'll have to get rid of like the light behind the flares, like we showed with Coles. But we just don't want to do the same old song and dance every video. We want to keep it fresh. So there's not really much of a reason to mention those things. A, a sound system. I think we will go ahead and pursue a sound system in this truck. Yeah. The, the factory Bose is great. Uh, we might do a review on that. Uh, Cole's feelings towards his truck, which did not come with factory Bose, to one that does have it, it's noticeable. So, noticeable. And then we can only imagine what an aftermarket setup would be like. So. Can only imagine. So what do you guys think on that? What's your recommendations? Two tens under your back seat? One twelve. Is there anything else that you prefer? Let us know. We don't really have any idea. Yeah, no idea. We'll probably take that to have it done because we know nothing about audio. So if you could even give us a good recommendation in the Missouri area. That would be great. Yeah, we'd, we'd take it to them. So, huh. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Uh, we obviously have to tint the windows. That kind of goes unsaid. Yeah. I assume we'll probably do 5%. No questions just asked. Just because it looks great. Uh-huh. Um, I don't think there's any more interior mods that we'd really do. That's not really. Not much. Train horns. <laughs> Write that down. I've been dying <laughs> to have some train horns. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry, we're not sure where that cut off. Like I said, we are in dire straits in figuring out our video because it's freezing cold and our cameras are dying and we don't have a heated shop to go get in. So, don't know where we left off, but this was our idea board. This is what we plan to do to this truck. If you can think of anything else to add, let us know. So, we're, we're excited to get started on the project. Um, we don't know what to expect on, like we said, some of the details of it, but it's going to be cool regardless of how it turns out. I mean, if you've liked what Cole did to his truck, what I ended up doing to mine, this one's going to be that, but even even a higher level so it's going to be a sweet process so we thought we'd give you guys a walk around of this truck and give you a look at it what it looks like the day they brought it to us and then changes are about to come so why don't you get that walk around and then after that we will start breaking this baby down
night. One thing we forgot to add, uh, we couldn't remember if we mentioned this in other videos, we think we had. Um, we had a truck on order for a very long time, six months-ish. This isn't that truck. I guess Cole mentioned that. Cole said, we just found this one a couple days ago and got it. Ironically, this truck was delivered today. We had it in our possession probably about an hour and then we receive a message from the place that we had a truck on order for with a deposit on it saying that the truck is in. So <clears throat> we haven't 100% decided what to do, but likely we might be getting another <laughs> truck. Uh, it'll be a big Duramax, but it's different than anything else we've had. So we'll leave it at that. Try to get you thinking, oh, what, what could it be? What could it be? Uh, you're going to find out and we will show it to you whenever it gets in.